Hi, good afternoon, YouTube world. I'm here with a message that I just received from the Holy Spirit, and I thought I should put it on camera right away. I feel that the Lord considers it important, and it's probably going to be one of those controversial ones, which I really am not uh, too excited about that aspect of it, but you know, people will agree or disagree and that's up to them but it's my responsibility to give you what the Holy Spirit has given to me. Now I received several confirmations of this and the scripture that this is based on is John chapter 1 verse 5 where uh, the darkness could not comprehend the light and of course it's speaking of Jesus Christ being the light of the world. When darkness falls he is the light. So, John 1, verse 5. Okay, we're going to read this. It does pertain to the days of darkness. People have asked me for the last few weeks, have I had any update on the days of darkness? And I said no, but I have one here today. So, I will just read it as the Holy Spirit gave it to me. My beloved daughter, I call on you this last day of your November 30th to write concerning the darkness that is soon to fall upon your sinful nation and the world. As I, Almighty God, have watched the naysayers for the many months since the warning was first given, I say to them now, shut your mouths. I have had many true servants of my Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, sound the alarm. The messenger writing this is only one of many. Listen, I beg of you to consider the wind as it blows in the trees. You can hear the wind, but your eyes cannot see the wind as it blows. This holds true for the way I work through my Holy Spirit in the universe. There are times you can see glimpses of what I'm doing either through science or nature, but you do not understand my entire plan for it is as the wind and I blow it however I desire. Many of you, even my true children, have a very limited understanding of me and as humans say, they try to put me in their little box. No. I say a thousand times no. I am like the wind and more so. I am not a God that can be contained for I feel all of all, I feel all in all in all times and spaces both known and unknown to you. My domain is heaven, the universe, above, below and all the width thereof. That is why I am called the Great I Am. I am that I am. My plan and purpose shall stand. What I spoke of concerning the three days of darkness is yet to come to pass. This is your last warning. Many of you believe my words as revealed by my Holy Spirit to be true, and yet you scoff at preparing for future events. I, Almighty God, also desire to have you keep in mind John 1, 5, verse, John 1, 5. And the light shines in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Therefore, do not fear, for my Son, Jesus Christ, is indeed the light of the world. And as you, as you abide in him, he will be your light. As he is your light, you become my light to others. Do not hide your light under a basket, but let it shine brightly. Testify of me, Almighty God, lift your voice and proclaim me to the world and to your world. That is my desire for you, my beloved children. 
How can others believe in me if they have not even heard of me? This world is full of noise and clamor, and I call up on you, my true ones, to lift your voices above the noise and speak my love to the people who are lost and on their way to hell. Now I speak of the days to come. The days that approach quickly now will arrive as a suddenly and all will be in shock. I have already dispatched my holy protector and warrior angels to stand guard over my chosen and elect ones. I, Almighty God, call upon you to be strong and courageous when the darkness falls. Place John 1, 5 every minute of the day in your heart. My beloved Son, Jesus the Christ, will give you the anointing, power, and courage you'll need in the future if you focus on Him. I now call on my holy army, my born-again children, to rise up in your God-given authority and speak to others of what is coming. Also, I would admonish you not to quarrel concerning the actual time when suddenly this event takes place. The timing is not for you to know. When this happens, the world will be caught off guard. But during the sudden event, you will well understand and fear will leave you if you focus on Jesus Christ. Some of my children say, oh, we don't need to prepare for our earthly future for rap the rapture will come first. Others say the opposite in we do need to prepare. Remember the wind. The wind can blow one way, then change course and blow in another direction. Even though my plan stands, I will not change and I will not change my mind. I ask my children to ask of me what I'd have them to do, and I will answer. So, let me repeat. Even though my plan stands, I will not change my mind. I ask my children to ask of me what I'd have them to do, and I will answer. Darkness, darkness such as you've never seen, will descend suddenly. In that darkness resides evil, and that evil will visit your earth. Do not be deceived when this happens, and test every spirit by my holy word, the scripture. Be on guard at all times, and I will guide you into all truth. My beloved ones, soon thereafter, soon thereafter, my glory shall shine as the clouds roll back as a scroll. The King of kings and Lord of lords is soon to make his glorious appearance. He will return, indeed, to this earth. My beloved ones will be one with him, and great will be your eternal joy. Trust me, my children, for I am the great I am, and by my Holy Spirit speak the truth to you this day. I am now positioning my holy angels around the world for the battles, that will begin. Be at peace as your trust, as you trust in the Lord your God. This message is given to my beloved ones, whom I shall be with eternally, in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen and amen. So there is an, your update on the days of darkness where God reiterates that it's even sooner than it was when we first announced this some time ago. Julie Wedby is one of the messengers of this. Sister Barbara is another. There are many, many more. I am only one of many. I, uh, But, you know, we all agree. 
the message all agrees. We agree with each other, uh, basically. Now, I do recall in the first message in uh, March that the Lord gave me, he did say that there would be a cosmic display take place just shortly, very shortly before the darkness descends. And uh, that wasn't included in this message today, but I would still believe that's all God's word. And sometimes when he gives a message, he alters it a bit. And there's no, um, no disbelief in that. It still retains its continuity. It retains the full intent of the message. And I just thought I would ask, add that because some of you are probably going to ask that question of me. Other than that, it's exactly the same, just worded a bit differently. And if you have any doubt at all, <clears throat> please go on the internet and do a search under the three days of darkness and you're going to find a lot of messengers, like I said, that are saying the same thing as this message today and the one the last day of March and all the others. So I would uh, admonish you to believe this is the truth. It is coming. And you know what? Shortly after that, maybe years, three years, seven years, something like that. I wasn't told, and neither were you. But shortly after that, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords returns as the King, and how awesomely wonderful that will be. Thank you for being with me and listening to this word. God bless you, and I'll... See you next time. Thank you for being here today. And if you have any questions, I would say do two things. Go to the Word of God. You can also go to some of my prior videos that I have given you scriptures, many scriptures on the days of darkness, and go to some of the other messengers that will give you the same message so you can be assured this is from the Holy Spirit. Thank you again. Bye-bye for now.